Hey guys, how you doing? Mike Tannock here with more Hearts of Iron 4 La Resistance, playing as non-aligned or nationalist China, depending on how you look at it. Uh, in any case, we are in a place now where basically all we have left to do over on at least our side of the world is invade and destroy Japan, which we all know is easier said than done. Uh, even with our massive bombing campaign, uh, let's see what their let's see what their stuff looks like here. Yeah, we have been just doing massive damage to all of their industry. Uh, their dockyards are basically out of commission. Almost half their military factories and a quarter of their civilian factories. Uh, they are not having trouble with manpower at all, but their ability to supply them is got to be really bad at this point now they still somehow have 40 to 58 divisions even though we've been killing them off like crazy uh, now if we look here it's hard for me to believe that considering the damage we've done with our bombers um, their air force has certainly taken a hit uh, they're not really able to keep up to our numbers so let's have a look uh, yeah we've bombed 206 buildings and of course they have repaired a lot of those I'm sure but what this tells me is we have more strategic bombers in reserve. So let's go ahead and use them first and foremost. Um, so that is something that's just kind of our situation. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but first, uh, my favorite part of every episode, viewer comments. So let's get to it. Um, Gabrielle Nicholas uh, did ask me what the hell was going on with our port defense command because there was 38 freaking divisions there. And I kept forgetting to split it up. Uh, now we ha now have the uh, Northern Port Defense Commands and the Southern Port Defense Commands uh, to make things a little bit more efficient. Because uh, as we did see, our Port Defense Units aren't always the greatest. They do occasionally get pushed out of their position. So any you know debuff by being overstacked is uh, not a good thing for us. So thank you, Gabrielle, for the reminder. Um, Next is uh, from Wendy Delise, of course, uh, talking about our upcoming invasion of the Soviet Union. Now, uh, Wendy rightly pointed out that we want to be careful. We don't want to get to a point where we're having Russia divert supplies and equipment over to wherever it is we conquer. Because what we're going to do, obviously, is drive north up through here. But... Uh, what Wendy recommended is take these ports first. All the ports on this side, and there appears to only be two that are connected. So uh, taking these ports is vital. That way, the supplies here will go over to, well, their western front. And uh, that's to kind of make sure we do keep the German Reich in check. Because they are winning right now, and winning pretty good. And if we weaken the Russians, then they're going to get just that much more powerful and then we have to deal with them as well because we are at war with the Axis. So that is a very good point and it is taken. So, and also I kind of want to look what resources might they have up here? Because we got to talk about resources in a second, guys. This is getting ridiculous. I want that steel, that's for sure. Okay, so thank you, Wendy, for that. And uh, Marcel Mendez, uh, asked me to kind of get a handle and take a look at the resistance that we've we have in the territories we've conquered and uh well that's the thing is we're actually not having much resistance at all uh we do have all of them set to civilian oversight by default uh, that is the default i set i don't know sometimes it's different but um yeah our compliance in all these areas is good is at a good ratio see so 12% resistance to 36% compliance. Uh, same goes for up here. And Borneo, uh, it's a little closer because we just conquered it. And what about Papua New Guinea? Yes, it's 10% uh, to 30%. So, you know, I'm re I really don't have to do anything here. It's, it's on the best setting, letting them kind of govern themselves to get our compliance up. And all of our... Yeah, all of our garrison units are... In great shape they're not missing equipment they're not missing manpower and it's honestly not taken a whole lot to keep them happy so yeah i think i think we're just going to leave that as is for now but thank you for bringing that up because i'd completely forgotten about that um 
So anyway, let's get back to it. Now, guys, we are just having the biggest problems with steel ever as we go along. Uh, particularly steel and aluminum, as you guys know. I mean, this is absurd. And it's all because of trade influence. The Americans are screwing us. Screwing us. And uh, we're minus 51 points because of distance. Uh, our relations could use improvement. And I am improving our relations right now. I just did that before I started recording. So, and we did send our spy, uh, our new guy, well, new ist guy, who is this, uh, Secret Claw, back to the U.S. to get that trade influence back up. And we're going to have to do that with um, uh, the U.K. as well, because they're screwing us big time on steel. So we're improving relations with them as well, because uh, they're down to, I think, like... Well, it's at 64. It's not bad, but we're going to do everything we can. But in the meantime, I want to become as independent from them as possible because they have officially pissed me off for this campaign. I mean, we're just getting screwed. So what I've done is in all the areas where we have sufficient enough steel where we could get some out of it, uh, I am boosting the infrastructure there. So see, we're getting six steel here, uh, six steel there. Another four, four. So it, it's little bits all over the place. So we'll get 21 up here. But it's going to add up. Oh, we could do it here for North Korea. Because we're taking all their steel anyway. And the other thing we might have to do, guys, is... Because we are producing some. Uh, yeah, we're producing 277. That's a lot. So I'm thinking, guys, what we have to do... We might have to go down to export focus as soon as we get rid of the nine power treaty now, now to get rid of the nine power treaty uh, i believe that was down here yeah this is the one so we have to get all the way down here but we can't really can't really do that because okay we have to go get this one so to get that we have to hire chanel and the united states uh, has to have at least 75 opinion of us. So once once we get that relationship up during our, for our next focus, um, we're going to do that. We're going to do that and start going down that tree to get rid of the nine power treaty so we can control our trade. Uh, it's not cool. Very not cool. So that's the situation, guys. Now, in the meantime, we are going to be planning our invasion of Japan. I do have... I'll get the clock ticking here. Oh, sh... Moscow just fell. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, how are they doing? Okay, they're still... They're still okay. They're 34% of the way towards capitulation, but... This is bad. This is real bad. This is the opposite of good. If the Rus I wish the Russians would just cut them off and get a big uh, pocket here, but... We know they're not going to do that. Now, the Allies are attempting landings in the West, but their success has not been good. Now, they did get two ports right here, so that's a good sign. That is a good landing spot, uh, two ports adjacent to each other. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that and see how that goes, because that is going to affect the timing of our invasion of Russia. So anyway, back to the invasion of Japan. Uh, I am now building transport planes for our paratroopers. Because uh, we're going to do a joint naval and air invasion. Now, I want to take Nagasaki with the Marines while we will seize the airstrip here from the Japanese with the paratroopers. And hopefully take uh, Kokura while we're at it. And we might land in Kokura, so... I might try to get the paratroopers in there just a little bit beforehand. A little bit before uh, the beach landing, just for the fact that they're going to start flooding... Reinforcements, and I want to be holding that and dug in already. Now, we will likely plan an invasion elsewhere as well to get seize another port. I would like to land at... Uh, well, one of my original plans, guys, was always to land at Kochi, build ourselves our own port there so we can uh, take Shikoku, which is kind of a vital place because it's got great access. And kind of do a two-pronged attack. Now we would have to hold here and here. 
and here to make sure that they don't attack Kochi and start to uh, really screw us over. Because you can't build in a province that's being attacked, and I think everybody knows that. But yeah, so that is kind of the plan right now. Um, yeah, let's get the clock ticking again for the Western Army. Let's get them organized and over here. Uh, where are they? Okay. Yeah, let's get them all over. What? Oh, duh. Okay. Click the wrong purple. Yeah, let's get the Western Army over here and organized. Uh, what's the supply situation like? It's fine. Okay. Because yeah, the Western Army is going to be the follow-up army. Because they do have mountain divisions as well as some armor. Uh, it's a good mix for the different types of terrain that uh, are just everywhere in Japan. It's got really varied terrain. Oh god, I can't... Oh. Right, so we'll kind of go like this and get all you guys over here. Actually, probably a little bit closer to the port. Let's do this instead. And we'll uh, delete that. So you guys can be ready to go. Alright, so we got that army. They're going to be the follow-on army to the invasion for down south here. Okay, now it looks like they are holding Kokura. Which isn't surprising. Okay. You know what? Oh, these Marines need to train badly. They lost... Well, I adjusted their division template and they took a lot of losses. Um, I'll show you what I did for the Marines. I beefed them up a bit. Got them all the way up to 20 with finally. Now they do need support companies. So let's go ahead and add engineers. As well as... Well, what do we have here? They got two support artillery, AA and AT. So... That's fine for them. Uh, let's do logistics. And we'll save that. And get them doing that right now rather than later. What about uh, airborne? Airborne, I wish we could add more paratroopers. We can. Okay. So that gets us up to 10 combat width. That is good. That's good because it is a multiple of uh, 80. So, And they got all the supply companies in the world. So I'm not too worried about them. They'll hold out just fine. Oh boy, look at this. That's going to be tough, guys. Huh. Yeah, they know what they know the score. They know the score. So yeah, we are going to have to do that alternate invasion as well. Actually, we might have to do that first to draw them away. And we can get that port started uh second we land no and no i might i'll probably sign a nap with the americans that would help our relations and trade i believe there goes a, a light cruiser because they've been asking for one forever oh we have a non-aggression pact with them i thought i did i didn't sign any i must have to try to do something yeah I'll get a license agreement too. Not that I really care about that, but it's good to have. So yeah, guys, let's plan this alternate invasion. Basic amphibious tank. Nice. Okay, amphibious tank battalion. That is awesome. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our medium tanks. While we're at it, because if we are going to go up against the Soviets, we better have a tank that works. All right, yeah, another port defense unit. Uh, you'll come down south here. And to Borneo. No, Borneo's covered. All right, yep, you'll come down here. All right, let's get the Blue Army out of here. Okay, uh, let's do this now. Republicanism. Alright. United Kingdom. Free France, United States. Opinion of China, plus 25. Yay! Okay, so can we do this one yet? I don't know if our... I don't know if our relationship is high enough. It's not. What is our relationship with that? Because we might just wait on the focus and do, like, construction engineering or something. 
it's almost there. So yeah, what we're going to do, guys, we'll just do construction engineering for a few days until our relation gets to 75. Um, construct, yeah, construction engineering. This will help us with everything that we're building right now. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're we doing... Yeah, the blue army. Let's get you guys out of here. You're this blue army. Okay. These guys did pretty well for themselves. I might have them be the next uh, invading army. So let's bring them up here. Give them an order to come up here. We'll pull some troops off for a secondary invasion. Is that all you? Good. Alright, yeah, there's no supply here still. I just don't want these guys sitting here taking attrition for no reason. For no raisins. Alright, good. Now what we could do, guys, is really... We, we have a ton of extra bombers, like I said. We could actually start to uh, beef this up a bit. Uh, let's do this. I will take you down by one. Okay, that way we can fit 50 more strategic bombers here. So let's go up by 50. It'll be 850 strat bombers. There, and what about here? And we are going to have to move some of these planes to make way for the close air support when it, uh, the invasion happens. So let's get another 100 bombers here as we can. We should have a ton of... Uh, Strategic Bomber 2s, 2As, okay. There we go. And you'll do the bombing. Uh, let's have you actually focus on civilian factories. So that'll impede their ability to repair, as someone rightly pointed out before. And I didn't even tell you where to go, did I? No. There we go. All right. We have close to a thousand strat bombers. And we're sinking light ships left and right. Hmm. Trying to see. I could fit another thousand planes here. So, yeah, let's get even more strategic bombers, guys. We'll do all of you. And we'll take you up to uh, 250. There we go. And you'll bomb here. All right. Yeah, that'll just pour the pressure on even more. We have another additional 300 strategic bombers, so they're just going to be bombed in the dust. All right, another medium tank for our brand new tank army. Which I need to name. Armored... Task force. And I might actually do some um, mechanized infantry uh, divisions to go with that. That would be very useful to them. Alright, got some destroyers. Another destroyer. What the hell are you guys doing? This is, this is dumb. Oh, we didn't take that island yet? Oh, shit. Okay. They've just been sitting here. Yeah, take all this. Thank you. I wish, I wonder if we could build an airstrip right here. That would be really useful to us. Okay, and they are operating down here now as well. Beautiful. Okay, so what's our relationship like now? I want to get, uh, okay, it's 76. So let's go ahead and get this, uh, yeah, we'll get this done. And we'll keep improving opinion with them. What is that going to do exactly? Okay. Uh, we get an available theorist. Ooh, research speed... Or air doctrine research speed plus 10. Air warfare theorist. Experience gain. Chief of air, for air superiority plus 10%. All right. All right. This is all good things. All good things. Little do they know I'm just using them to get to a place where I can cancel trade with them. Uh, because ha has that improved at all? I don't... I d seriously doubt it has. It's not really. Not really. 
Although our relationship is improving, which is helpful. But, I mean, they're still just screwing us. All right. We got him back. We got our spy guy back. Let's keep building Intel Network here. Oh, oh it's decreasing. Uh, let's go ahead. What about now? On the same mission. Yeah, it is going down. They must have some serious counter intel happening here. I wonder what we should do boost propaganda, reduce their war support and their stability, because their stability sucks right now. Big time. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll try to maintain the Intel network. I don't know if we're going to get away with it. Okay, yeah. If you have, t like, two operatives on the same mission, it can kind of get sticky. Uh, it reduces the effectiveness of whichever agent came last. It reduces their effectiveness by, like, 50%. So we're going to try to get away from that. All right. Decrypted their cipher. Uh, who else? Who else? German Reich is done, Tibet is done, Sinkiang is done. Huh. I don't know who else we might want for this. We already got the Soviet Union. Let's decrypt uh, Britain, just in case. You never know when they might, the Allies might get froggy. Okay, I and mean, we're just sinking all their ships. They, they have no chance. No chance at all. Alright. Uh, let's see. How, man. How are bombers being affected? Okay, yeah, look at this. We're just smashing, guys. We're smashing. Uh, bomb 218 buildings now. It was like 180-something before. Uh... We've actually lost more fighters than they have, but I think it's because we have heavy fighters, and they're not quite as good. They're not quite as maneuverable. That's why I tried to up their agility, but, you know, there's only so much you can do. Now, our paratroopers. Okay, our marines are training. That's good. What about the paratroopers? They're almost up to speed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to wait on this one, because look at that. They got three divisions dug in there. That's going to be tough. Unless, well, we should be building more Marines, because we only have four divisions. So I'm going to actually stop that. We don't, we don't need that many port defense units building. What we do need is another Marine division, if we can. And we'll set them up... Uh, Right here. There we go. Yeah, we definitely need more Marines than what we got. We might have to supplement this with regular infantry divisions if we uh, don't pull this off in time. So, uh, I don't foresee uh, naval superiority being a problem, guys, just from what I'm looking at here. Yeah, we're just sinking their light cruisers. All their screening ships. Hey, they killed one of my subs. That's okay. It's been a while since they did that. Uh, do we have automatic split off on? Okay, good. For you? Yep. Okay. Oh my god. How many times do I got to tell you guys to deploy to China Reserve Fleet 1? Thought they were doing that. No. China Reserve Fleet 1. We'll see. Okay. Alright. How much naval experience we got? We got a fair amount. Now, I think... Hmm. Yeah, this is outdated, the one I'm building right here. How did that happen? 
Okay. What do we have on this? Yeah, let's get Radar 4. I want it to be the best of the best. We get torpedo launchers. Haven't done the light engine yet. Torpedo launchers. Yeah. Um. Let's see. They do have anti-air. I would like to do mine sweeping as well. Okay, so this will be our mine sweeper. But it's also got fairly good equipment otherwise. Yeah, okay. God, we really have to upgrade our Navy tech, guys. This is embarrassing. Actually, no. We got to reset, so let's duplicate this. Be a minesweeper. Oh my god, my spelling. Destroyer. And I would like to do some mine laying ones as well. That's, uh, you know, can't have it all. Um, minesweeping gear. Torpedo launchers. With the best anti air, please. The best radar. It should have sonar, though. We need sonar. As soon as we get sonar, I'm switching that design, guys. Okay. And we'll save that. Let's start building these instead. And I know we have to probably upgrade our cruisers. Early cruiser hole. Uh, this is outdated, which is... Okay. Yep, here we go. Really cruiser hull C. Uh, I wanted to... Let's duplicate this. Let's get the anti-air. It should have one anti-air, but heavy cruisers are meant for blasting stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, this thing has a lot of batteries on it. Um, okay. Yeah, can't do much of anything there. Let's get a better radar. Fire control zero. You know what? Maybe that is a bit much. We should have some, uh, a little bit more diversity in this. Although, aircraft facilities. I would love to have a float plane catapult. No. Yep, we'll do a light battery up here. So we've got one, two, three heavy batteries, one light battery, and a rapid fire cannon. Or secondary battery, I should say. Um, okay. This will be the heavy bombardment cruiser. All right. Okay, so this one is... Uh, actually, that is the light cruiser, isn't it? Yeah, this must be the light cruiser that we're building, because... Uh, oh, no, it's heavy, but we can... Because usually you can only put um, uh, five dockyards into it. Alright, so we'll just do one on this one, so we'll let this one finish before we switch it over. And same goes for this one. We'll get some extra dockyards, and then we'll know that uh, it has been done. Alright, sinking ships. Oh, wow. Okay. Two light cruisers, two destroyers. I don't know how they have any screening ships left. And destroyer. Okay. Yeah, we are messing them up big time. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. Uh, what is their Navy like? They have good intel on it. 
Okay, we're about evenly matched now. Except that we don't have battleships, because I still have not researched that. Is that not the most ridiculous thing you've ever heard, guys? I have not researched it yet. All right. So let's go ahead. I want to come over and check relations with the U.S. Demon killed over East China Sea. Oh. One of my aces. All right. And how's our spy doing? Okay. Trade rel relations are at back at 100. So what does that do for us? Hey, look at that. We're actually over on steel. See, all it took was a little TLC. Uh, British Malaya. We should improve relations with them. Uh, we can keep going over here. And it'll stop automatically when we, when we top out. I'm going to keep uh, my agent there doing what he's doing because it works. Okay, so British Malaya. Come on, man. Let's be friends. Look, I freed you from the Japanese. Accidentally, but I still freed you. I wanted to conquer you. You should be thanking me, not putting that smug little look on your face. Your collar's stupid, too. How's that? <laughs> Loser. Okay, lost another sub. Ah, damn. Yeah, they're trying to strike... Oh, there's no... Com okay, never mind. I thought this was the sub fleet. Okay, so yeah, we're... Uh, oof. Should probably put a little more into... Submarines. I'm going to have to go on a building spree again. Of uh, dockyards. But what are we doing so far? Okay, we do have... Why are we still not making any nukes? Okay, so as soon as these are done, we'll get the, uh, the rest of our steel done too, which will be nice. Okay, so the plan here, guys, is I'm just trying to weaken their navy. I, I wanted to have nukes first, and we are close uh, to building, but, um, yeah. So I'll, we'll see how it works. Oh, wow. Two ships awaiting repairs. Yeah, the, all this stuff is so damaged. That is awesome. And I assume they're... Airstrips are probably a bit damaged, too. Yeah, because that number's climbing, guys. We're just hammering them. Uh, I would like to l launch an invasion this episode, so we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Uh, how many transport planes do we have? And how many would it take? We have six, so we'll see. Um... Let's get the paratroopers over here. It's not them. Good, they're almost all trained up. Got five divisions, so let's go ahead and get this planned. Um, yeah, let's launch from here. Ugh. Why can I not do this? Why can I not? This is not a valid province for a pair job, huh? Hmm. So I cannot do that. That's interesting. I wonder why that is. That is not okay. Alright, scratch that guys scratch up but get over here anyway all right and we are ha finally having resistance to someone and something wow that's strong resistance um we might have to crack down for a little bit uh let's do local police force we'll gradually gradually escalate force got yet another pair of here, shoot division. Got it. And who else? Another tank division. Excellent. Our tank army is coming along. 
We're still getting screwed on, uh... Yeah, we're still getting screwed on aluminium. Aluminum. So, who's screwing us the most? The Netherlands. Uh, well, we can do something about that. And we're actually trading for too much steel, so... Uh, let's take this down. Alright, what do we got? So, I think... Likely one of our heavy ships just finished. How many dockyards do we have? Yeah, we have six. So what finished? We'll see. Okay, yeah, it was a heavy cruiser. Alright, so let's go ahead and build our new model of heavy cruiser. Uh, the heavy bombard. Give you all the factories. I actually want to move you up. Make sure you get what you need. Okay, and we're short on steel again. Go figure. Okay, let's do this dance. Back and forth. I hate that. Uh, I'll trade for one. No, that's fine. It can be minus one. So, Free France is where we need to be dealing with things. Um... I guess, well, this guy's spreading propaganda. Is it helping any? Uh, kind of, but not really enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our man here, spreading propaganda, send him to free France. Oh, the U.S. took over free France, so where'd they go? Where did Free France go? Uh, Vichy France has down here as well. I remember the Allies, right? So where the hell are they? South Africa. Are they stuck over here? Free France? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. So this is where we'll, where we'll send them. Uh. Can we control trade with you, please? I would like that. And also improve relations. That, that would help, I guess. Because I don't think they like us very much. No, they don't. <laughs> they kind of hate us. So let's improve relations as well. Get our aluminum straightened out, hopefully. Another port defense units. Beautiful. Uh, let's get you down here. All right. Looking good. Where the hell are I believe do I have to have air superiority? Well I do have air superiority here. Yeah, we have almost complete air superiority. So I'm not sure why I cannot do a uh, airborne invasion. If you guys know, just please let me know in the comments below. I know I'm missing some small key factor. It's been a long time since I did an airborne invasion, so. Uh, get all y'all over here. Okay, and we are finally building nuclear bombs. We have one reactor built with uh, three more on the way. That is perfect. We got mechanized two. Awesome. Could you mechanize three or improved aim track? Okay, we'll wait on that for now. Let's get our. Yeah, our support battalions are kind of way behind. Um, I would like to get field hospitals. We doing land doctrine? I believe so. Yeah, we are. Okay, that's good. I uh, don't want to do rocket artillery. Anti-tank. That has to go up. That has to go up bigly. And let's get our mechanized equipment improved since we're building tons of those. All right. Oh, come on. What's going on now? The U.S. doesn't like us again. This is madness. I, 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 That's why we're building our own stuff, guys. We're just building our own stuff. I'm not putting up with that. Screwing us on steel. Go figure. Let's see. 
I was just looking over here. Do I have to have the transport planes there? This is just a, just a test. I want to see. That is it. We have to have the transport planes there because I'm a dumb. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, yeah, I, I want these guys to seize the airstrip for us. We could fly in supplies and uh, get some support aircraft there. All right, we got another five dockyards, so our other cruiser did finish. Okay, yeah, and it should be coming over this way. Yep, all right. Oh, that's beautiful. Should research battleships, guys. I, I... <laughs> shit. Should have researched battleships. Ah, uh, that's okay. Uh, let's just get another one of our heavy bombardment cruisers built. It's the closest thing we got to a cruiser. And yeah, we'll make sure you get some steel. Okay, so everything's good there. How are our spies doing? Alright, prepare collaboration governments with Japan. Uh, we'll select you since you're here. I don't think... It, oh, he has to have a friend, too. Alright, early heavy ship hull. We did research battleships, guys. I forgot. I am sorry. So you know what we're gonna do. Super heavy battleship. Let's keep going. Let's keep going with this. It's only 76 days. Uh, we got some free military factories. Why? Okay. All right, fine. Doesn't matter. We don't have resources to build with anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and design that new ship. All right. Yeah. All right. Battleship. I know it's missing components. Let's deal with that. So what do you got for us? Yeah, secondary battery. Uh, you should have radar and sonar, since you're such a badass. Fire control, that really needs to be upgraded. Uh, yep, do heavy anti-air, heavy battery one. Uh, secondary battery, I don't, I don't let's see. We should do anti-air. These things get vulnerable to aircraft. Uh, let's do a secondary battery. Secondary battery. This thing is our heavy battleship, after all. Heavy battery. Alright. Along with armor. Okay. So. Heavy bombardment battleship. I'm so proud of our ships, guys. You have no idea. And I do need to upgrade our the ships that we do have, actually, and get them working on it. So, we'll do that instead. Oh my god, steel. I forgot. The steel that these things take are insanity. Okay, so, it's not building at all because it's so short on steel. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate it so much, guys. Okay, what, what do we not need to be building? Fuel refining. Alright, that's good because I do see, guys, I do see that our fuel is uh, declining fast. Alright, uh, well, let's look around here. Engineering, I want to get the advanced fire control system for our ships. That's what I want to do. And while we're at it, let's have a look at our fleet here. I would like to upgrade them. Yeah, all of these need to upgrade to Minesweeper Destroyer. Yeah, you can do that. Get a couple Minesweepers. Actually, we need more than that, just in case. Okay, and upgrade all those. Wish we could upgrade the cruisers. That would be nice. That'd be real nice. And how are we looking 
over here. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Uh, our subs are only down to seven apiece, so they must just be getting damaged and going back to port. So they are doing God's work. Now, let's have a look at how we're doing with uh, the UK. All right, our improved relations are at 100. Uh, and see, our trade is bouncing all over the place. Now we're only short by 19 steel. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, nothing's working with these guys. Okay, relations and control trade. It's going up, but it's just not enough yet. Yeah, they're screwing us out of 54 aluminum. It's it's unbelievable. And the Americans are kind of okay with us again. But anyway, that's fine. All right. Yeah, our relations are good here. Free France, man. What's going on with you? Maybe someone else needs to own what you own. I'm not sure where the rest of you is. <laughs> but, uh, okay, we're up to 20, which is good. We are negative before. Oh, okay, they own uh, Sardinia and Corsica. Uh, what else do you own? I don't know if they make aluminum there, do they? Yeah, that's it. So they're in trouble. They're in big trouble. You should be friends with me, because, uh, you know, your allies are, and you're just being kind of a douche. Alright, so we got our airborne invasion plan, we got our marine invasion plans, we have our backup army. Um, and we might just do this now, guys, and use the, uh, use the nukes as just kind of a tactical weapon, really. So that would be useful for us. Just want to make sure everything else is kind of in order. And we are about to have that second nuke reactor built. Alright, excellent. Okay, prepare collabo government. Uh, uh, let's do... This guy. Commence. That will help us in our... Uh, occupation of Japan. It'll make things much easier. A whole hell of a lot easier. Okay, and in order to gain superiority, I might have to send some of these ships out early uh, from training. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Because we have to have superiority... Oh, damn. Here and here. But it looks like we kind of do. Yeah, friendly supremacy, and we don't even really have ships out. We have subs out, so... Let's go ahead and do this, guys. You know what else I would like to do is actually land some troops here behind them to cut them off. And that way they're getting attacked from land and sea. And it's risky. I know that, guys. I know that could be a bad idea. But let's do three divisions. I think that would be sufficient. All right. We can hire Chenault. Um, warfare theorists. Expert air superiority ground support, plus 10%. Okay. All right, we'll maybe have a look at that. The hump. All right. At peace with China, resort country, UK. Game Co. Okay, yeah, this is the one we need. We get one military factory out of it. Excellent. So what we need to do now, what we need to do now guys, is bring our air support in and move uh, like the bombers out. We don't need them this close. They can... Ah, damn it. Yeah, they can pull back to here. Uh, yeah, there's room. So I'll make room for 650 planes here. So we do need to have some more transports. Just in case. For that many divisions? Yeah, for six divisions? Yeah, you better get some. Okay. Now, let's get our close air support in wherever I left them. Let's have a look here. Close air support. Come here. 
close air support there. There we go. That's one. Here's the other. Is that all I have? I only have two close air support wings. Interesting. I've been building close air support planes, so... Huh, I guess we'll see, but I do want to overwhelm them with it, if possible. Yeah, these are all fighters. Okay. Any others? That's it? That's all my close air support. Just a ton of naval bombers everywhere. Okay. We have tactical bombers. Eh. Let's just put some new uh, close air support wings. I want them to be specialized in this. I know we have it. Oh, that's it? Ouch. Okay, we're going to have to get our close air support up. So I, I can't believe I neglected it that badly. Alright. And let's take you up to 100 as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get the tactical bombers in here since we do not have... Ah, oh, damn. There's one tack bomber wing. Okay, yeah, we'll bring you in. You will be doing ground support, not this nonsense. And where's that other one? There we go. We're way off in Sumatra. Alright, and that airport is going to get full soon. So... Let's have a look. What is going on with our close air support? Are they not building? Able? No, they're not. Because they have no... Okay. That's attack bomber. Alright, we're going to move them up. They need some aluminum. Because we're getting, like, almost literally zero aluminum. Oh my god, how is this happening? This is just the worst. The absolute worst. Alright. Damn. It just keeps flip-flopping, too. That's that's the issue here. And I should not be... Okay, yeah. Our relations are up. Uh, our spy, I think I just pulled him off. Yeah, to go set up Collabo government. So, yeah, it's just a disaster. It's a disaster of epic proportions. And I did build our infrastructure up only on the steel. So, let's, let's have a look at where we can build on... Whatever aluminum we may have. Uh, and it's not a lot. We have 29 here. We could get... Okay, five more. At this point, that is a priority. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's North Korea. Duh, I forgot. Okay, well, we're not doing that. Uh, but that would lower their autonomy, just building there. Just to be a jerk, I could do that. But our relationship with them is bugged in this campaign. It's like major bugged. So I'm not messing with it. Here we go. Okay, we got three aluminum, 17 rubber. And you know what? Maybe I just won't trade rubber with you guys. I could always do that. Well, the point is, I can't wait to get rid of the nine power treaty so we can cha change our, um, our trade stance. Because, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. We're, we're not doing free trade. We make too much of the world's resources. I mean, 822 rubber. And we're trading it with them just fine, it seems. But we can't get a little bit of aluminum? They're giving us nothing. Well, they don't have any to export. That's why. So, I, I won't even mess with them. It, it says they lost it, so... Oh, jeez. You guys suck. I can't trade with anyone else, really. There's no one else to, to do it with. God. Man, it sucks being non-aligned. I'm thinking of going Democratic, guys. That could be a solution for us. Because, um, look, we're already getting democracy. Somebody's messing with us. So you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go Democratic. I would like to do that. I was going to do that anyway to keep the allies appeased and off our backs since we are still not as strong as them. But let's go ahead and do that. We have a democratic reformer. Uh, who else? 
We got rid of the captain of inf industry, but uh, first lady of the republic. Okay. Yeah, that is about all we can do here. Uh, how's our inflation? It's low, but let's do forced loans to get rid of it entirely. This will get rid of... Uh, it'll turn it to stable economy. And we do need to boost our war support, guys. It is looking bad. Uh, how about German Czechoslovakia? We'll take our anger out on them. Okay, good. So, oh yeah, what was I doing with these divisions? Ah, uh, yeah, bad, bad idea of plan for an invasion is what I was doing. So, let's do this. We'll go there. And you'll come probably here, actually. Would be better. It's forest, so it's better defensive position. Three divisions, and that way we can kind of sandwich them. We'll send the airborne and this land invasion first. To kind of get them confused and see what's going on. So then we'll launch the sea invasion. And get them all tidied up, and that, that should be it. So we just got to plan that out. This could be bad. Could be real bad, but we do have enough ships to support them. We do have heavy ships. Uh, capable of bombardment. So let's go ahead and get them into the main fleet. And oh, we got a fully trained destroyer as well. Another screening ship. Beautiful. All right, we are kind of getting a look at their positions. And they, oh, damn, they are guarding Kochi. They heard me. They're spying on me. They knew what I said. I, damn it. However, once this invasion happens here, they're going to start moving. And we could come in behind them with yet another invasion. So let's plan that out. This is a contingency invasion. We may or may not do it. We may do it. We may not. So we'll get five divisions here. And let's plan that. It's kind of a wild chase. Uh, usually, actually, I do it from uh, down here. But... Yeah, that's actually a lot longer, so we'll, we'll do it from here. And we'll land in Kochi as soon as... Yeah, I think that... Okay, we have to wait for these guys to go. We don't have the transports for that, unfortunately. But we're... I thought we did. I thought we did. What is going on here? Did I not get the advanced transports? Okay, they're not here, apparently. Oh, and I do want to see something after this, so hang on. Oh, duh. Should be down here. Transports. I only did the first round. There we go. Naval invasion capacity plus 40. Damn it. I really thought I did that. That's okay. All right. A brand new division. Uh, we had a brand new army somewhere. Okay, all these are up at 24. That's fine. A new army. Put you down in this army group and train. All right, guys. So this episode has ran a little bit long, but I think we have our plan set up. And I want your feedback on it before we actually launch. Do you guys think this is a good plan? We got the airborne taking uh, the airports. And it looks like somebody just invaded there. So that's going to be interesting, guys. And we should have nukes soon as well. So that's something else to take into consideration. But... I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please do leave a like. It does help the channel. Um, and also, if you have not yet subscribed, I highly encourage you to do so. I release videos every day. I love your guys' comments. Uh, I can't wait to hear them. Uh, let me know what you think. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.